This is a seven pot Jonah um, that Brian Holmes from ghostpepperstore.com sent me and I've been looking forward to eating one of these for a while. I haven't eaten a Jonah before. Um, it's a nice, it's a beautiful colour, very bumpy looking, great shape pod. It's a good size thing. To the stem. Mmm, it's a very strong smell. Very typical seven pot smell, but um, it smells a little bit more citrusy in a way, a little bit more acidic. Quite pleasantly so. camera, there we go. So quite a lot of seeds inside this particular pod. Um, good amount of placenta and there is uh, there's a number of droplets uh, shiny bit that you can see there, the number of droplets of uh, big droplets of oil. Um, yeah the smells definitely very uh, citrusy in a way, it's acidic undertone that's very nice. I hope the taste has some of that to it too. Okay, Seven Pot Jonah. Let's have a taste. Hi, I'm back again and here to eat another crazy hot pod. This time it's a Seven Pot Jonah from Brian Holmes at the Ghost Pepper Store so www.ghostpepperstore.com Yeah, it's a very nice uh, strong seven pot smell. There's definitely an undercurrent of sort of a, an acidic smell to it which is a little bit citrusy in a way. Yeah, it uh, smells great. Looks pretty nice, a nice pepper. So, let's see what it's like. Mmm. Sweet. And immediate heat. And now there's a little hint of bitterness to it. It's really hot to start with. <coughs> And juicy running down my throat. <clears throat> Bitterness is all gone. That oh, was very hot from very strong. <clears throat> Look at how they talk, it's so hot. So the, the sweetness was very, initially it was very sweet and then it went away very quickly. There's not really any citrus to the flavour and the heat's all gone to the back of my throat and the, the back of my tongue. <laughs> That's how I feel too. Oh, that's a really hot pepper. Yeah, it's it's tongue and throat, the back of my tongue and my throat, <clears throat> really, really sore. Oh, and it's making me sweat enormously. And it's still on the way up too. Starting to get a lot of uh, heat at the very front tip of my tongue now. Yeah, 
She's saying it all for me. <coughs> Come on, baby. Oh, it's very warm. <coughs> yeah, back of the throat, back of the tongue. It's now around my cheeks, around my mouth. Very, very hot. Oh, I'm sweating like like a pig again. My lips are burning. Tip of my tongue's really burning for some reason. Wow. I can't taste anything, it's so hot, it's just blasted my tongue to bits. Uh, it's quite a painful one too, it's uh, it's hot and painful. It's not too different from the savannah. Uh, taste was a little different, but the effects are quite like the savannah. Very hot, very painful. <clears throat> Lots of drool and sweat. Uh, I'm not crying very much. And the heat's definitely on the way down, but the pain isn't. Pain's now all sat squarely across the surface of my tongue. Still no flavour in my mouth. It's just blasting. Oh. Yeah, the whole surface of my tongue and in the back of my throat to a lesser extent are really starting to hurt like hell now. Yeah, that's a pretty hot pepper. That's a, that's a that's a good one. Good burn. It's not that different from a savanna. It really wasn't. Very painful as well. It's a very aggressive burn. It's really still hard to talk because uh, I'm in so much pain on the top of my tongue and back of my throat. Every time I, I swallow again, you just huge whoosh of pain. Brian, you sends me some great peppers, but I think you're trying to kill me. Yeah, it's just starting to starting to go down now. <coughs> it's still my tongue and the back of my throat, though. Very, very painful. Starting to get a buzz in my hands, my feet. I'm still sweating buckets. I'm really starting to get a nice endorphin buzz going now. Starting to get a little bit lightheaded. Still very painful in the back of my throat. are really buzzing now. Hands in my arms, feet, my legs, I'm starting to feel a little bit, a uh, little bit lightheaded and distant. <clears throat> wow, it's another painful one, that's for sure. Very similar to the savannah, really, as I know I've said that 26 times. Uh, I'm finding it a little hard to string sentences together and think straight at the minute. Whew. It's really on the way down now, the, the heat's gone pretty much, it's just left back this pain. 
but still on my tongue, but more in the back of my throat. Um, just starting to get the flavour back a little bit. This one's got a very rich flavour. Again, there's a little bit of a hint of tobacco, I think. Not really any citrus. Sort of general fruitiness. Oh, it's hard to describe flavours. <laughs> Nice though, nice flavour. Well, I think uh, I think we'll give it a break there. But uh, very good pepper, very interesting one, um, very hot and painful. I'm really starting to feel really lightheaded. Um, my hands are really buzzing. The tips of my fingers are going numb. And uh, I suspect I'm going to have to lie down for a minute. But very, very hot. Very, very painful. And a really rich flavour. Very rich flavour. Very nice. So, Seven Pot Jonah. www.ghostpepperstore.com Thanks, Brian. Thanks again, mate. And this is Nigel Carter saying I'll be back in a little while for the Aftermath Report. So... Hang around for that. See you later. I am back for the aftermath report for the Seven Pot Jonah, and I'm happy to report uh, no issues. I've had no stomach issues. Um, I didn't get uh, any, I was a little bit uh, floaty, but not particularly high after eating. Um, the endorphin response didn't come on and on and on and on like it did for the savannah um, for this it was short and sweet and um, I had no problems uh, with with being kind of spacey and out of it excuse me um, yeah no stomach issues no real high to to talk about um, yeah we're good so this is Nigel Carter saying thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye.